Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk NYC, the real estate podcast with John and Jonathan. John and Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Good. What are we talking about today? We're talking about washers and dryers. We're talking about features of buildings. Washers and Features of buildings that are really important to buyers. And the... I know it sounds ridiculous because, you know, in homes, you know, a home has a laundry room or a washer and dryer, most homes do. But in New York City, that is a coveted amenity to have in an apartment building. And a it, lot does of buyers, sound, it does sound ridiculous. It does. A lot of buyers don't have washers and dryers. Some buildings do not have laundry rooms and buyers yeah. go to the laundromat to do their laundry. Very rare. Though. I know in my neighborhood, there are still buildings. Well, the I rental see people buildings, going to the, like the, the, yeah. the smaller rental buildings, yes. But the, the sales built, the condos and co-ops, they all, they all have, have laundry rooms. Yeah. But to get the washer and dryer in the apartment is a coveted amenity. And so what will dictate one's ability to get a washer and dryer in their apartment? Well, the number one, obviously the bylaws of the building, whether it's a condo or a co-op will dictate whether it's allowed. But the number one thing that keeps people or, or keeps buildings from allowing a washer dryer is simply the tax that it would have on the plumbing system. Because these many of the buildings are built previous to the 1960s, so they're, you're already 60 years old, but many in the early 1900s. So you're talking about 100-year-old buildings at this point. And the plumbing risers, which are the pipes that go from the basement all the way to the penthouse level for the individual wet areas, have not been replaced in many scenarios. And of course, you think, well, one washer dryer, that can't overwhelm. But what happens when you, well, we have, when you have 60? So, yeah, well, you allow it for one person, you have to allow it for all. Sure. And it is such a coveted amenity that if you allow it, people are going to do it. They're going to find Definitely. the space for it because we've seen people, you know, in the kitchen, under the cabinets. We've seen it uh, take up a closet, like a coat closet. And now there's no coat closet. Honestly, people would rather have a washer dryer than a coat closet. We've even seen it illegally done. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> it, well, it used and to be the case when bo when TVs were the old tube TVs, they would bring in an, a washer in a TV box in order to sneak it into the... Uh, you can't do that anymore. That's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of the downsides of those skinny TVs. Building plumbing is going to be at the heart of everything, whether or not it's going to be able to take it. And the bylaws will confirm that. If one is able to put a washer and dryer into the unit, the big question becomes, can it be vented out? Or is it what is called self-venting? And that is the huge, all of those, I know we laugh about it, but those are value adders to an apartment. And that can bring, that brings up the price of the apartment on the market. And, and if then, it's vented out, that's very good. Oh, yeah, because it, you, can so close nice. your, you can close, you can wash your, dry your, dry your clothes in a half hour yeah. versus three hours. <laughs> Although I will say the new the new uh, Mila's are supposedly yeah. really really good. The self condensing ones like actually get the time down to actually a vented reasonable dryer. time, and they don't walk I'm out of the dryer. I'm not speaking from experience. But that's what I've heard. There's a couple other caveats. The only other thing that I would mention is where it's allowed in the apartment. So mm -hmm. sometimes buildings will want it in the wet area. So it actually has to exist within the original footprint of a bathroom or a kitchen, which becomes very invasive and many times doesn't work very well. And we've seen that, but sometimes still worth it, even if it doesn't work so well in the ultimate look or feel of the apartment or uh, or usage of the apartment still may be worth doing Without if you can do it. Oh, so, definitely. And we um, see clients that have their washers and dryers in their yeah. kitchens. Thankfully, and, now we've seen technology or construction materials get to a place where waterproofing is very is much better than what it used to and buildings seem to have relaxed a bit on the wet over wet in some cases especially around a washer dryer but there you have it washer That's dryers it. who would have thought they're big, so important big amenity so uh further information let us know and for now be healthy safe and most of all remain in gratitude thanks for watching or listening to the real talk nyc real estate podcast if you want to find us online or sign up to get our monthly and quarterly market stats, come on over to our website, gestaskaconlinteam.com, or you can find us on all social media with the handle at gestaskaconlinteam. If this show was helpful, entertaining, or informative, consider telling friends and family or leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss our next episode, and we'll see you next time.